What's going on, everyone? This is Session Maru. In a previous video, we talked about combination structure and how we execute combinations. But in that video, I gave you an example of a pretty, you know, plain Jane, run-of-the-mill, vanilla-style type of combo. In this video, we're going to expound upon that idea by introducing positions and how positions can um, play a role in continuing your combination as well. All right, so for example, the position that we're going to be using is down. In the down position, it's pretty much a crouch, okay? So you're going to be on your knees, one hand on the floor, because you're most likely going to be coming from a, from a skill, so your hands are most likely going to touch, but they might not, they don't have to, okay? But you're pretty much going to be in a crouch position, and depending on what skill or what trick you're coming out of, you might either land here or you might land in the uh, opposite of that, which is with uh, your legs switched around, okay? And again, there are lots of ways to get into that position. So for example, you might do um, back tuck down, okay? So you might go back flip, down. Or you might go Webster down. Or you might go butterfly twist down. But pretty much, that down position is always going to be one knee, one foot on the floor, in a crouch position. Now, for example, to expound upon the combination idea, I'm going to use cork down. And I'm going to show you how to cycle from the down position into other positions so that you can keep the combo alive. So, if I look at the cork down, okay, when I land my cork down and I'm in the down position, my trick, the cork, is terminating in the down position, okay? So I have to make sure that whatever comes up after it is initiated in that same position or at that same moment. So for example, when I come here from the down position, if I was to push in the flash and I was to carry on, then that would still technically be a combination. And the reason why is because of the exact same thing that I mentioned earlier. I'm using the terminating position of the cork down to push straight into the initial position of the flash kick. So my combination hasn't really stopped. It's still alive, it's still active. There is a slight pause because positions have inherent pauses in them. So it doesn't count. That's a small exception within the rules doing combinations, okay? Now, if I was to land this cork down, and let's say I was to get up and then double leg somewhere, then that would no longer be a combination. That would be what we call a sequence, which is, again, something that is interpreted like a combination, but it isn't quite a combination because there is a break in the flow and things aren't connecting from terminal to initial to terminal to initial to terminal to initial, to terminal to initial and so on and so forth. All right, but we'll get into sequences again at another time, okay? So, again, this would still be a combination. If I went cork down into like full twist round and then did something out of it, that would still technically be a combination. So, now we can carry on. That would still be a combination. Now, about combination from position, to position, okay? So now we're finally going to talk about how to cycle from a position to a position to keep a combination alive. So, if you're in your down position, you don't have to necessarily go into, you know, a basic skill or into, um, into a trick or something. You don't have to necessarily do that. If you want to, you can go from a position into another position. So as you can see, I'm in down right now. And I can transition into dark side eagle. And then from this dark side eagle, all of the grandmaster swipe, all of the master swipe, and all of the rap family of skills are all of a sudden available to us. So if I land here in down, when I switch to dark side eagle, I can bring master swipe on me. Okay? And likewise, if I'm in down, if I switch to eagle in dark side, I can rap from there. Okay? So that really, really opens the doors into possibilities of things you can do and get creative with your combinations without necessarily dropping them, without necessarily doing sequences. Things are still connecting.
from initial to terminal to initial to terminal. And combinations, I know they seem like, oh, you know, when you get this specific, it hamstrings our creativity. But it really, really doesn't. If you understand what it is I'm telling you, it'll actually open up tons of things for you to do. But you just have to make sure that you're utilizing, um, utilizing your position and understanding what skills come from where and from which positions. And just, you know, push the envelope and try to be as creative as you can. So, moving on. just an example of the potential that lies within understanding that you can cycle from position to position to keep a combination alive. In the next video, we'll be talking about sequences, so make sure y'all stay tuned to catch that, all right? Woo! Have a breath. <laughs>